Good evening, sir. Have you reflected upon the words you just heard? How says the mob? Are you going to disperse? Are you going to stand in Mr. Payne's doorway? Are you people of violence or peace? <laughs> Being one of the older citizens of the town, a man imbued with character and probity, I dare say, I feel particularly privileged. And it's a sense of responsibility I have to make sure that this mob behaves as it should. Are you subjects of this king? Yes! Yes, you are. Have them on. <laughs> Am I happy with the king? Yeah. There are days that I wonder. I'm the colonel of the militia here in Boston town. I'm a warrior. I think I can speak with some authority upon what it is to bear the red coat and to bear arms. My name is Thomas Marshall. I'm a tailor. Enterprise, hard work. Being an American has served me very well. Has it served you well? Anyone here with me in 45 at Lewisburg? What did we do there? Some of you are not students of history. It's clear. I don't know. You beat the French. Beat the Yankees. <laughs> it is important that we review the sense of probity that I have, and that you should also bear at this time. The men of this province, virtually single-handed, went to Lewisburg and beat the French, sent them packing, and what did the king do? He gave it back to them. We were forced to do it again in 58. I was there. As were many of the men of this province. What did the king do then? He was there. Gave it back until we won the war and finally kept it. Not a few days ago, I heard one of the arguments in this town concerning whether we are good subjects of the king or whether we need this king at all or whether parliament is the tyrannical factor. My sense of probity vanished at the time. I grabbed a shovel and almost brained one of the uh, conversationalists that I encountered. So yes, I have the same streak of energy, sometimes a bile and colic to go after my rights. What is happening here? We've heard Mr. Payne talking about smuggling, the customs house. What is going on with this tea business? Are you aware? that five million Indians, not the savages of this continent, but those in far Cathay, have died because of a long-lasting drought. The king, the largest shareholder of the East India Company, is going bankrupt. What is his answer to bankruptcy? <laughs> Some of the education has not been wasted by <laughs> So what are we doing here today? Why are you here today? Is it about taxes? Our taxes are low. No. no. But did we accept those taxes or were they forced upon us? Disagreement with the Is force the right response? Have we ever used force here before in this colony? Again, my age is an advantage to many of you. I remember my grandfather. He was alive in 1689. I was born in 1720. My grandfather was part of the mob, the righteous mob that escorted Governor Andros and the 85-man Boston Red Coat Garrison out of the province. We showed our medal then. Should we show our metal again today? Yeah. Why? Is this lone soldier of the king, this lobster back, such a threat to you? Does anyone 
in this crowd know him? Brother Christ! I know him. I know him as a bit of a thief. Not a common thief, mind you, but one far more subtle. The unruly garrison stationed in the middle of our town, 16,000 loyal subjects of the king. We need these men here. If he wanted to cause trouble, where is the best place to put them? The common, of course, right where they can cause the most trouble. Their trouble is manifest. They're in constant search of extra coin with which to pay for the vices that unfortunately are to be found in this town. But how to get those monies, how to get them, the broad shoulders of this man's back. Intelligence not required. He went to the rope walk. A good job there is two shillings a week. He offered his services for one. A man of the town was forced to go hungry and he was no longer to feed his family because that individual right there took his job. Is that what we want here in this town? I think the tenor and temper of this crowd is sufficiently diverse that I no longer have much to offer in terms of your energy, your goodwill, and your desire to serve your king as best you can. Thank you.